What's going on guys, it's the Lone Courier here today and we're here to talk a little bit about the Black Ops 3 campaign. Just watched Ali A's video on it and I'm going to say it looks insane. Looks insanely good. Also, another thing I felt like talking about here is the campaign. It looks... It looks like it's going to offend some people in a way. You know what I mean here, like... Just the way it is, well, I wouldn't really say just the way it is, I would more say it's the way the, um, if you've seen the campaign, you'll know that there's that part of it where you see there's people, like, that have been strapped up and they've been, you know, like, well, not strapped up, but they've been, like, tied and, like, just hung up, hung out in the street and stuff like that. And I'm going to be honest here, that is, like, quite, <laughs> it's quite morbid and, like, I can see that this game is going to have like one of those stories that's probably going to attract some attention like you know more with the um <clears throat> the way that stuff looks i can see it offending some people you know like um modern warfare 2 it attracted its fair share of unpopular missions and stuff you know obviously with the very very controversial no russian campaign mission and obviously it just seems that the new campaign for Black Ops 3 might attract some controversy. I don't know. It just it kind of seems that way a little bit, you know, just with the with the way the campaign has been shown. Because you know, obviously, it touches on some touchy subjects like you know, like mass genocide, slaughter, stuff like that, systematic slaughter, and <laughs> you know, it's like stuff that us Call of Duty fans, well, it's a bit like. It's a bit horrible to say this, but you know, like, once you started playing video games and you played some more of the darker video games, you, you just get accustomed to this sort of thing. You don't get used to seeing it in person, you get used to seeing it depicted in a video game. You know, like, I've played Dead Space plenty of times, I've played Resident Evil, I have played, you know, like, all these other horror games like Alien and stuff, and I've seen, I've seen plenty of weird shit going on in those, you know, like, in Dead Space 3, there's a part where pretty much these psycho dudes are just systematically slaughtering people and you know the way Black Ops 3 seems to be going with the trailer with what's been shown so far I can see that's gonna offend some people and if that does ever happen that's gonna be quite annoying because you know it's like not even that bad I mean it's, it's like Call of Duty here it's not like some super offensive game like you know like it's not like they've obviously tried to be offensive here it's just something that it really does go well with the campaign, like what message they're trying to promote here, you know how they're trying to go for them. I'd say the whole theme behind the campaign is what if humanity started messing around with robotics, prosthetics and such, and it went a little bit too far. You know like, you obviously, it seems that, that I'm not going to like try and give a little bit of backstory here because you know I know nothing about the game so far, but it just seems that with the the theme of the story chat uh, trailer that had been released it seems that some guy has you know obviously one of these guys with the robotic implants and such has maybe gone a little bit crazy and has you know went off and done a bunch of weird shit and killed a bunch of people so maybe that's just what the game's about you know i mean it would be a bit awkward it wouldn't be a bit awkward it'd just be a bit like strange It'd be good to see another mature theme campaign from Call of Duty again because, you know, like, with the last game that came out, it didn't really have any mature themes going on at all in the campaign. It's just kind of like, kill the bad guys, hurrah, and such. And with, you know, with the theme of the new one, it seems that they're pushing it in a more mature direction, you know, like, not being afraid of having some controversy going on there. Which is what I, pref I would prefer to see because... I don't really like overly edgy games, you know, that just try and annoy people, but I do prefer a campaign that can have its dramatic, heavily, you know, like, controversial and dramatic story parts. And that's just what I like in a game. I like a game that can, that can take itself seriously and have a mature theme to it. And it's better than some of the other themes in Call of Duty, you know, like, kill some bad guys, hoorah, you know, so, yeah. Campaign looks good so far, looks really, really solid. I like the message they are putting across in this campaign. And you know what? It looks really good so far. Like the gunplay in the multiplayer was very good. I like the gunplay in the multiplayer. 
So, you know the campaign coming over with four players again, it's obviously going to have some great four player gunplay in the campaign. And obviously the gameplay runs super smooth on the... It didn't really run super smooth on the Xbox One, but I mean like when it did work properly, it ran smooth. And on the PS4, I know, obviously what I know is it ran very smoothly on the PS4. So, it's pretty cool to see how it's going. And, you know, I can't wait for it. Like, I'm not going to like make videos on it, just um, talking about just, just frank and honest speculation. I'd rather just wait until the game is out and then make some videos on it once the game is out. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy helps the channel grow so much and i just love love seeing all that positivity from you guys so yeah if you guys want to see some more black ops 3 videos then leave a comment saying you want more and also another thing is there will be some world at war gameplay soon just got my cop just got a new copy of world at war recently again actually so there will be some world at war content very shortly probably going to be some zombies maybe some multiplayer if i can find unhacked games but you know, I, I will do whatever it is. I will still play the game if it is hacked. But you know, um, obviously gonna play some World at War and gonna play some Black Ops 3 when it's out. I might post some new Black Ops 2 content. I might post some Black Ops 1 stuff. And possibly some COD 4 actually as well because I, I got into that game recently again and I was like, dude, this game's amazing. So yeah. Um, Few other things I just wanted to talk about here, as in like stuff that I am doing with the channel, is we're going to be posting a lot more other videos other than Call of Duty. There will be a lot more series of stuff like Dead Space. I might do a playthrough of Alien Isolation. Possibly going to do a little gameplay of The Evil Within. I'm not too sure about that one. But yeah, there will be a lot more games posted than just Call of Duty. So if you're not a Call of Duty fan, there will be something for you on this channel. Don't worry. And yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you did, and yeah, leave a comment saying what you want to see in the future, and I will get that out for you guys, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and it's been a long career, peace out.